Hi, if you had to choose between this delicious tequila or this tray full of this delicious bread, what would you choose? The tequila, Excuse me, course. please. Hey, friend, wait. Production, help me, please, friend! Friend, it's your daughter you left here. Ah, poor thing, friend. Friend, are you alright? Is that your daughter? Is she oh, your God. daughter, friend? Why did you leave her here, friend? Is it this daughter? Is she your daughter? Poor thing, friend. Why did you leave her here? Yes, she's mine. Oh, friend! It's your daughter. What happened to the child? Why did you leave her here? Friend, can you hear me? She hasn't eaten since yesterday. What do you mean, since yesterday? What's your name, my friend? My name is Anna. Anna? And what's the girl's name? Yodri. Yoli? I see. Friend, but come. Don't go away. Friend, please come. Don't go away, friend. I want to help you. Look, my team and I are here to help you. Please. Look, I don't know what if you want, do. I'll make you the child in which you calm down. Please, friend. Look, you can't have the child loaded like that. In which you calm down if you want. I'll help you carry the child. What did you say the little one's name is? Yoli. And your name is Anna, right? I don't know what's happening to you, but believe me, my team and I are here to support you, and I'm really sorry for you. I don't know. I don't understand why you're leaving the girl here. It makes me a little bit angry, too. No, I don't have enough to eat. I don't have a job. You don't have enough for yourself? No, no, I don't even have a place to live or to sleep. But how come you don't even have a place to sleep or anything? I mean, are you okay? Do you want someone to help? Look, let's do something. Trust me. My name's Furcho. Nice to meet you. If you want, let's go to a shady spot. So we can have a nice chat and calm the baby, okay? Friend, you told me your name was Anna, right? And little Julie? Yes. Friend? Look, forgive me for butting in. The truth is, I don't know what you're going through. But I'm curious and at the same time a little angry that you left your little girl abandoned there. So what's the reason? Tell me. As I told you, I don't have... I don't have enough to feed her. She hasn't eaten since yesterday. Why is that? What do I feed her with? I have no money. I don't have a job. They threw me out of where I was. What do you mean they kicked you out of where? From work? From where? No, I was living with a friend who gave me a roof over my head and fed me. Until before my dad kicked me out. Well, after my dad kicked me out. Your dad kicked you out of your house? Let's see. I'm not understanding anything. Let's see. Your partner? Do you have a partner? No. We don't have anyone. What do you mean you don't have anyone? We're alone in the world. Oh, my friend. The fact that you say you're all alone in the world, it makes me think that... Well, you are having a hard time. It makes me think that... I see. I know you're having a hard time and... Well, let me tell you that. That you are not alone. There are many people around you who, believe me, love you. And well, in spite of everything that has happened to you... Let's see. Tell me a little more. You don't have a partner? What? So he left you? No, no, I don't understand that I part. I don't know. My boyfriend left me with the girl because he thought she wasn't his. So he accused you of infidelity or something? What do you think? Well, he told me it wasn't that when I got pregnant, the baby wasn't mine. Were you living together or not? No, no, we weren't living together, but we were already in a relationship. Okay, excuse me, how old are you? I'm 25. 25? And when do you get pregnant? How old is the baby? She's one year old. One year old? Well, she's gonna be a year now. Okay, so that was a little while ago, wasn't it? Well, look, when uh, I was with my partner, I was dreaming of a family, I thought that I had finally found the right one, and... Well, you get your hopes up, don't you? But he didn't think so. But why? He, he doesn't think of... No, he didn't. I mean, he wanted someone... Just to be with someone. Obviously, for what you can imagine. To have fun. What a pity. Look, what happens is... Look, to begin with, let me tell you something. You never get to know people. The truth. And besides, nothing happens. I mean, it wasn't your fault. You, well, as a person, 
one becomes idealistic and dreams and everything and since you don't get to know people, well, you don't know how far you're going to go and believe me, you have absolutely nothing to blame for that. And well, it's good that you... But if it wasn't my fault, my mom and dad would have accepted me with the baby. As soon as I told them I was pregnant, well, first I hid it for as long as I could. But obviously I couldn't hide it anymore at some point, of right? Of course. As soon as they found out, well, I let him down. But how? He kicked me out. Let's see, I'm getting it, but I'm not able to isolate things. Your partner I mean, or ex-partner left you from the moment he realized that... I don't know anything I mean, about him. i never seen him again. I don't even know what he does with his life or anything. I don't even... He wasn't even with you during the pregnancy process. No. I mean, my parents didn't want to be there either because they never knew I was pregnant. And obviously they kicked me out because I let him down. They had another idea for me that I should get married. The party, you know. Of course. But then, look, that was the idea you had. Absolutely you are not to blame because that was also your idea. But how can I not be to blame? I mean, since I've been pregnant, it's been problem after problem after problem. What can I do? And just when I thought that I could count on someone, my friend took me, accepted me into her home. But obviously, well... Obviously, I didn't pay her rent, so I understand that she ended up getting fed up with us. Well, she obviously got annoyed. I mean, she gave me money. She gave me a roof over my head. She even paid for my hospital. I could not afford it. I mean, it. she paid for your hospital? I'll always be grateful to her. I even told her that when I could. I was going to pay her back for everything she had done for me. I but see. in the end, she got fed up, obviously. She didn't want to. It speaks just, very well of you, eh? Believe me that... that you want to pay for the things you were given, it speaks very well of you. But let's see, then your parents, they saw you obviously well, your pregnant belly, you tell them the news when you are four or five months pregnant, more or less, approximately. When it started to show, yes. You could yeah, no longer well, hide it. And then your dad kicked you out of the house. And what did your mom think at that moment? Did your mom think the same as your dad? Yes, she does what he says. Yeah. That happens in a lot of families. So, you went with your friend. Where did you meet this friend? Well, we are lifelong friends. Friends of all. Well, fortunately, she is doing well. She has a boyfriend who loves her. She has other friends. Well, I thought I could count on her, and even though I told her I was going to pay her, obviously, I annoyed her, you know. I mean, there were days when she would feed us and give me money, but there were others when she didn't. I mean, she yelled at me. She would come home from work stressed and she would yell at me out of the blue. How am I going to work if I have her? Who do I leave her with? Hey, but look, anyway, I think it's a bit imprudent because... Well, she's your friend. She gave you a hand, but... But to throw what you did for someone else in his face... It doesn't speak very well of her as a person, does it? Well, there are people like that. Oh, look. What's her name? Julie, the baby's name, isn't it? Look, she's already asleep. Hey, my dear Anna. And why did you want to leave your little baby there in the church? Well, what would you do in my place? I mean, I can't look for a job. They won't take me anywhere with her. I can't pay anyone to take care of her. Look, let me tell you what something. Can I, do? I wasn't one to judge you. But I think you could have thought of another solution. But don't worry. I understand that you are in despair. You tell me that you don't have anyone, that you have nowhere to go, but where are you staying? Well, wherever I can, I try to hide behind cars, under benches, so they don't take it away from me at night. Under the benches? Oh well, my god. Where else can I stay? What about the baby's things? Her clothes? Where did all that go? They get full of insects or dirt, I mean... You carry them with you? I've already lost them. I drop them where they get dirty. Your friend didn't even give you a chance to leave the baby's things while you found a place to go? She got desperate, and she ran me off. Oh, how a pity. The truth is, and how inconsiderate, huh? Well, it's normal. I mean, anyone can be fed up. 
I mean, I go to shelters, but then, yeah, I'm getting desperate. Yeah, my mind doesn't work anymore. I can't work. I don't know what to do. Look, this... Don't worry, my team and I are here to support you. We are doing, well, a challenge. And well, I saw you in the background and I couldn't believe what I saw. Because besides, well, I felt the connection. I am the father of a baby. And well, leaving him abandoned outside a church, believe me. That is something very strong. Then I would like to help you. What do you think if we move from the place? To talk a little more and give you a solution? No, 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 I can't. No, no, what do you mean, no? Why? No, I'm going with her now. No, 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 my friend, please don't go. Look, we want to help you, we really do. Look. No, how embarrassing. Look, trust me and trust us, okay? We wanted to go buy something for the kid to eat. Some diapers or milk. Whatever she needs. How about that? It's embarrassing me. No, 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 look. Shame to steal and get caught. Seriously. Well... Shall we go? Okay. Well, come on, let's go. Well, my dear Anna, we have already left the store. For the moment, we could only buy this. Because the store, just to buy a lot of food, it's best in a bigger place. But don't worry. Look, this is only the beginning. I will bring here the baby food. The diapers of the stage that you told me. And if they are also big, don't worry, we will buy more later. And I want you to come with us because we have a very big surprise, okay? But we have to move by car. Shall we? Will you come okay. with me? Yes. Hey, how are you feeling? How long has it been since you've bought for your baby girl? Well, this kind of food. Well, I gave her milk from whatever people wanted to give me. I rang the doorbells in the houses, asking for a glass of milk for my baby. And they helped you? Well, yes, most of them. They saw her and felt sorry for her. Well, yes, I mean, I don't mind not eating. I mean, what I want is for her to eat and to grow up well. Yes, of course. Believe me, as a father, you always want your children to eat first and then us, right? Sometimes you have to, sometimes you have to take the food out of your mouth to give it to them. But well, Completely. look, Anna. Now please, don't worry, okay? Let's go because we want to surprise you, okay? Okay. Come on, let's go. Be careful. Well, you're looking for a job, you tell me, right? And whatever it is, I can sweep, I can iron, I can cook, I can wash, I can do anything. Whatever, just let us eat tomorrow. Well, look, I'm looking for someone who wants to work. In fact, I just need someone who wants to work here in this house. But, well, let's go inside and I'll tell you a little bit more about what we need, okay? What do you think? Shall we go on? Well, let's go. Look, come on in, my dear Anna. Come on in. Thank you. We're in confidence. Come, please. Look, you told me you were looking for a job, didn't you? Yes. And I was looking for a person who, well, who wanted to work. But, well, that's not the important thing. The important thing is that when I found you, I was doing a challenge with people about whether they wanted a loaf of bread or a bottle of tequila. And, well, I couldn't find anyone who wanted the loaf of bread. You just showed up and I think you would have chosen the bread, right? Yes, because I haven't eaten for three days. Well, you know what? Look, the people who chose the bread got a very special gift. And, well, I want to give it to you, and I want you to see what that special gift was. You're kidding, right? No, not at all. I'm not kidding. How? But you? You said that you needed someone to work here? Well, forget about that. That was the surprise we wanted to give you. My team and I wanted to give you. This is your new home, my dear Anna. Oh, no. No, you're not. No, you? Look, I know that it may seem something difficult to you to understand. But believe me, this is real. This is your new home, my dear Anna. So you can live with your baby. It can't be true. My love, I can't believe this is ours. Thank you, God.
Thank you, God. Do you like it, Anna? I love it. And look, don't worry. Right now we're going to go finish buying the food for your baby girl, the diapers. And the clothes, because you told me you already lost them, right? And we're also going to share a change of clothes for you. How about that? Oh, thank you. And last but not least, Anna, don't worry. Because the bread comes from a bakery owned by a friend of mine, and they are looking for someone to help manage it. And, well, I also want to give you that job. What do you think? Oh, thank you very much. I don't know what I did to earn all this. On the contrary, my dear Anna, believe me that good-hearted people like you deserve to be rewarded. Thank you, God. But look, let's cry a little less, and we'd better go see your new house. Although, I know that those tears are no longer of sadness, but of happiness. But, anyway, come on in to see your new house. <laughs>